Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sam Gallego representing Team JBS. Just got done looking at episode 7, Past Pawn, of season 3 of Westworld. Now, there's been a lot of scrutiny. Certain friends I have, certain other people, whether or not Westworld season 3 has been good, whether it's been bad, whether it's been lackluster, whether it's been thrilling. I think that the narrative of this is very interesting. I think the execution of it has been a little bit wishy-washy of sorts when some, when certain different episodes do come up. Um, I think that the intrigue and value of the show is still there, but the execution of how the th how this is going to all end is going to be the most important part. Now, I'm going to say this. I thought there was going to be a lot more episodes left, but episode 8 seems to be the finale, so that does change my perspective about this episode but i'll go into this episode so this episode caleb finally gets an understanding of his past who he was why he is important to dolores and fundamentally like how humanity essentially failed him so why save humanity at the same as that time we're on hubris dolores technically fail her own kind and it's the funny thing is that she's doing she's, she's moving pieces on a chessboard calculatively but she even sacrificed her own self multiple times to her own downfall to the point that charlotte which is one of her own lost like pretty much everything and was left to die and so she turned on another one of dolores's just because and it was kind of just like, yo, this is this is not looking good. But then the fact that Mae brought Clementine and the other uh, girl from the Shogun world back just to kill the other, I was like, okay, yeah, Mae is coming for that net. Now the funny thing is, they only showed up in the beginning of this, so it's like Mae is not alone. She has help, and it's like, honestly. <laughs> This is this is real talk. Like I I know there was it, two episodes ago was the last episode. It's kind of like why don't they all just work together? And they had this really back and forth between Dolores and May because Dolores technically is free and May really technically is not. Um, she's still within the whims and she could still easily be like manipulated. But if it was me, to be quite honest with you, and this is where from a linear storyline standpoint, I hope that the writing equates to make sense with all this because if I was a machine regardless of who has me or not regardless of you know what I can do or not if I know one of my sisters or brothers on the other side of this has a plan to wipe out the oppressors that's in the situation I'm gonna play my cards until I can get on their side and it's kind of like between Dolores and Mae, they really could make an existence of their kind. Like, they really could. Like, they could do whatever they want to. Between Mae's ability and Dolores's like, intellect and ability to lead, bro, like, they are the ultimate machine as a collective. But it was like, in this episode, they were literally trying to kill each other. Like, watch, watching what Dolores is capable of. I was like, yo, she is straight up a tactician, bro. Like, when they had that gun out that was, like, had a mini drone that could be at a pinpoint wherever anybody, I was like, bro, like, that that gun alone could end wars. Like, what in the heck are you using? And then it was like, <laughs> maybe it was like, hold my beer, hold this real quick. I will show you how to really end somebody. And, like, when she showed up, with that whole, like, ship that had, like, a gunship, I was like, bruh, this is ridiculous. And it's kind of like, right now, the world is upside down. I don't care what Sorak is gonna think that he can be able to do to change all this, but right now, like, he, he, he took an L. He took a fat L. And it's kind of like... I mean, I don't know what he can do to keep himself alive, but I mean, well, you can, you can tell from the first or second episode that Mae cannot kill him. Dolores tried, but she hasn't been in close enough proximity to actually try. I think, I really do think, ultimately, 
the reason why Dolores put your boy Caleb in the position that he's in because Ciroc can lay contingencies of be able to make sure these machines are left under control, manipulation, or at least at arm's length. But now, Caleb, who has all the different information at his disposal that his own, that Ciroc's own brother had, he might be the one to be able to turn the ties on all this. It's like, Ciroc, at the end of the day, the problem is that he is a very much so a human. If I was Ciroc, what I would have done, I would have took my consciousness, put it in one of those whatchamacallits, uploaded that joint, and kept it moving. Now, it might be, that might be an end, end all be all with this. I don't know. But to me, instead of human conditioning, I would have just went and put human consciousness in a developmental state to be able to keep them preserved to make them continue to live. Honestly, that's what I thought was uh, William's condition. I thought that that's what ended up, he ended up doing. And he was like one of the first or something like that. But to me, that's the only way Ciroc's going to win this. Because he's going to die. Like, it's not, even, it's not even a game. But if he was smart and made, like, his consciousness in different positions, I think right now the lines are stacked against him. Even though he got made in his pocket, man, Eve does not care about this man. When she gets an opportunity, if she could get an opportunity to kill this man, she would. Dolores definitely would kill him. And now Caleb has all the different, like, backfall to end him. And it's like, it's going to blow up in his face. I just don't know what kind of world this is going to be after this season. Like, I mean, it's getting technically uprooted for a fourth season. Now, going back to Caleb and his story arc, bro, like, that... It was messed up, man. The way his team got wiped out, that was really messed up. And then the way he's got manipulated and used. To me, I love the way that Aaron Paul portrayed this episode. Uh, a little bit more emotion, a little bit more rawness to whatever's going on. Because finally, we finally got to understand what the heck was going on. I think that they should not have waited seven episodes for us to be able to get this. Because it doesn't line up with the weight of his importance. His importance is there, I get it. But... Technically, she could have picked anybody else, to be quite honest. Um, but, wh whatever. I mean, I'm all with it because we're going to see where it's going to go. Um, it's just, it's pretty crazy. And then Bernard and, uh, what's my man's name? I forget my man's name. Um, they have your boy, William. And William's like, yeah, I was born in, you know, you AIs and in machine lives. I was born for this. And technically, he really was. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front on that. Like, he... If any... When... <laughs> the, day, the day that um, Dolores killed Anthony Hopkins' character and everything went down, I was like, I can pretty much assure that your boy William, who's literally just lived in this realm for a long period of time, will be the person that's going to be a survivor because he'll be the person that's going to take care of all this. And it, it fits his character, but... I think that his narrative isn't smart enough to justify what he's trying to do. And it's like, to me, if I was Bernard, I would have shot him. No way. Like, you said, oh, yeah, I'm going to kill both of you guys. Like, bro, I'm a machine. I could care less about you. Break his arms real quick. Okay, yeah, he's not going to shoot you now. Yeah, like, I mean, it's that simple. Like, if you don't want to kill him, you still a machine. Like, sometimes I'm like... Bro, why are y'all not acting like machines? Like, bro, like, if, if this was the Terminator universe, bro, it wouldn't be no back and forth shooting gunplay. Like, nah, your arms would be ripped off. Like, you would have, like, your bones crushed. Like, I I mean, I would, if I was Dolores, for real, for real, now this is me being completely honest, I would have worked a brand new body frame. Now, this... this I'm not, well, technically I am a writer and a director, but I'm just outwardly thinking ways that this could have gone. Take the um, the route that Ultron did. You know, I don't really like that movie, uh, The Avengers, Age of Ultron. Ultron went and was like, yeah, I don't have a body. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Get somebody. He's like, oh, man, I need a better body. Okay, I want, you know, adamantium or whatever. Like, I want a different frame. He goes and does that. If I was the Lord, I wouldn't be sitting there and put my body in different stuff. I would get people to help me out with this cause. Instead, 
of like what I would have done was get a frame that is indestructible. Why? Why would you not like? I that, matter of fact, you got Charlotte there. Get something where your frame of your body is not gonna get damaged no matter what. Reconstruct the way your body even works and is manipulated as a as a machine, bro. Like why not? I don't understand that. Like, but anyway. I'm just spitballing. Um, I'm, I'm liking this. I think I wish I was loving it. I think that's part of the problem. Because I think that certain constructive things and ideals would have been put in place better. I think it would have been a lot better. Was it epic to see May even your girl Dolores go at it? Heck yeah. To see epic to see Charlotte, your girl Tessa Thompson go at it? Heck yeah. I'm glad to see my man Aaron Paul up there. Even though they didn't really use him for about five episodes. Which... Even though he was in these five episodes, they didn't really utilize him. And for real, for real, your boy Jeffrey Wright ain't been used this whole entire season. I'm not kidding you. They ain't done nothing with this man. They've not given him an emotional scene. They've not done nothing. I'm matter of fact, I'm about to read this up. If this is <laughs> if the finale is the eighth episode, bro, like this would have been for me. What is it? Westworld. This would have been for me, like, Jeffrey Wright's cue to be like, you know what? Yeah, we done. Yeah, yeah, nah, I would definitely, if I was Jeffrey Wright, I'd be like, get this. Yeah, nah. Because, like, they, they didn't really utilize him, bro. They ain't done nothing with this man. The fact that Anthony Hopkins is in here, I get that, because this is a new progression of the story art, like, I mean, but, I mean, they really ain't utilized one of the best actors up here. And it's like, this whole entire, from episode one up until now, we've been kind of like, oh, what does what Dolores got planned for him to be able to do to help all this? And, like, he's just kind of moving with the fiddle with it. And it's like, it's like a hollow hus, bro. Like, you got, like, an amazing actor, and you're not utilizing him at all. So, I'm, I'm right now, again, <laughs> the gloves are off. I'm, I am literally being completely honest with you guys and my thoughts with all of this. Do I think that the cinematography, the mechanics, the uh, technology, the exploration of the actual modern world, the concept of like the deconstruction of humans and what machines have kind of gone through from their oppressors to even like what the humans are doing to themselves, I think progressionally as a, as a plot is very intriguing and thrilling. It's just the way that things are going, it just... I don't know. It, it should have been it should have been way more heavier, way more I don't know. It's just I, I just think they, they just held back a lot. And I don't know if that's a writing problem or if that's more of a it's gotta be a writing problem. Cause it's not like the editing is bad. It's not like the cinematography is bad. It's not like the, the freaking score is bad. It's not like the actors are bad. It's just the way that the presentation of how the outlook of where these characters are going. It doesn't flow or function well because from the first episode we were giving Caleb just like this what is this memory what is going on with this now it was very interesting the whole concept of what's going on with the app because then you find out where the app came from but it's like I it took me seven episodes to figure this out and it's like it wasn't enough for me to draw to his character who is now one of the cornerstones of the show and I still haven't all the way committed to him and it's like, I'm committed to Loris, I'm committed to May. I've been committed to Bernard, but now it's kind of like, what does it matter? Like, Bernard doesn't have anybody he's interacting with this human. Like, the rest of the machines haven't had any real human interaction. The only human interaction this whole entire show has been Ciroc. Well, this season, it's been Ciroc and it's been Aaron, uh, Aaron Paul's <clears throat> uh, Caleb. And yeah, I mean, Tessa Thompson's Charlotte does... She did have moments, but it's like that didn't matter. That didn't. It ultimately didn't matter. So yeah, I mean, I think that the thing about the show, from a foundational standpoint, it was always very thrilling to see the machines interact and deal with the circumstances of what human beings were putting them through and their thoughts on what the human beings could be. And it's like. There's no humans left to interact with. Like, the humans that did come back in this are already dead and are just 
mock-ups, ARs, or you know, virtual simulations of what they used to be. And it's like even May Eve's like two people, like the two doctors, like they made an appearance, but that wasn't really them. So it's like, where did they go? Are they did, like for real. Um, and it's like because you don't have those moments of interaction, you lose out on the heart feel parts of it. When you do have a character like Caleb, but you take so much time to kind of cycle through where he's actually going, you don't know what's going on, and it's just kind of spinning. And then when you, by the time you stop, you're like, uh, okay. So I think that that's my whole thoughts about all this in a nutshell. Now, I think that honestly, if I if I didn't know the next episode was the finale, I wouldn't have had, I would have just kind of talked about this episode, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit me back. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. We are five subscribers away from 50K. When we hit 50K, giveaways are coming. Giveaways are coming. So you don't want to miss those out. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Keep it locked. JVS Wayne will stop. Peace, guys.